All right, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to be trying to restore this old saw that I found while I was searching at Goodwill. I usually like going to thrift stores and stuff like that, see what I find. It's usually stuff that I don't need, but if I think it's cool or if it looks old or vintage, I'll, I'll try to see if it's if it's worth anything or maybe just do little projects like this. As you can see, it's kind of a worn down here from the little research that I did I think it's a uh, hand carved or handmade so we're gonna see how it is I, I thought that was pretty cool uh, here's the brand or I don't know if it's the brand but uh, on the videos that I watched on YouTube um, there was a lot of these I think it's a, a really good saw I'm not sure if it's from the 1950s or 60s but it looks pretty old and also this is gonna be my first time doing a project like this I mean it's simple but came across a saw and decided to restore it so it's gonna be a learning experience for me as well uh, some of the tools that we're gonna be using is a flathead screwdriver um, it's usually stuff that I have around the house kind of like a like a challenge I, I give myself See how cheap I can I can restore something, or how how uh, inexpensive I can get something done. Uh, the three this is the only thing that I bought. I believe it was about two twenty one, no more than two two fifty. I believe it comes yeah with four sheets, and it's a four hundred grit. It's very fine. It's for finishes. I'm gonna be using that to polish the blade. We'll see how it goes. I bought the saw for like four dollars it was pretty cool there was another one but it looked uh cheaper than this one it looked kind of like uh newer and just cheaper it didn't feel as sturdy as the as this one does um so i went ahead and grabbed this one i'm also going to be using this oil so i can um because i might be using water to clean up the the blade so after that i'm going to be applying this hopefully it uh, prevents the rust but yeah so those are gonna be the uh, few items. I don't know if I talked about this. Uh, these are the Boost soap pads. Um, it's heavy duty steel wool soap pad. Uh, I'm gonna try it out. I've, I haven't seen anybody use these, but uh, we'll see how it works. I mean, if I ruin it, it's only $4. Uh, I'm, not re I'm not really worried about it, but I hope it works. Hopefully it uh, brings it back from, from the dirty and old look. Which is kind of cool. I was even questioning just leaving it like that, but I mean, why why not try to try to do something with it, something fun? But yeah, I'm gonna be preparing it. I'm gonna be taking these uh screw uh these screws off, and we'll go on to the next step. Now we have all the uh, screws out and the um, whatever this is called, little button I guess. Um, I'm going to be cleaning these as well but I'm not going to focus too much on this one. Like I'm not trying to take the uh, letters out because unfortunately you guys can't see it but there are, there are, oh there we go. It says warranted superior so if I I mean if I use a sander or uh, sanding paper I'm not gonna be able to read the words I feel like I'm gonna damage it but so I'm gonna probably gonna leave this one alone if anything I'll just touch it up really quick but I kinda think it looks cool like this that vintage old-school look um, but yeah so now I'm gonna separate the uh, the blade from the wood and Taking the blade and cleaning it off with this uh, steel wool. I'm not sure if there's a uh, right way to do this. Obviously, the blade's away from you, but I'm not sure if this is the right technique, but it seems to be working. There we go. So now we got this, and we're going to be sanding it by itself. And this one.
All right, so this uh, this little pad didn't work as well as I thought it was gonna work. Uh, my thinking behind using these is uh, since it probably cleaned up the rust from different pots and different metals, I thought it could have could have worked with that. It was clean a little bit, but uh, not as fast as I would like it to to clean up. So I went and got my uh, orbital sander and see how that works. I'm still going to be using a little bit of water and the soap that comes in this uh, pad, but I'm not. I'm no longer going to be using the uh, the pad itself. I'm going to be using the sander. You can already tell there's there's a big difference. That's probably the uh, the orbital sander was probably the best choice I could have made. Um, saved me a lot of time. Look how it used to look. Well, that kind of picked up some of the grime that it left behind, but you can definitely see a big difference in it. There it is. So I'm going to be working this, and then I'll be right back to show you guys uh, when I'm sanding the uh, the handle. All right, what I end up doing to the blade is I uh, added some three-in-one oil to the blade directly and I sprayed it with my fingers and I just uh, started sanding it down, try to get as much rust off as I can, any uh, little imperfections or dust or dirt, anything, anything I could, that's not metal. Alright, so now what I'm going to be doing is, and I actually, I've been working on it for a while, uh, not long, uh, on this handle, the wooden handle. I'm going to be using a 400 grit. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest, that's the only uh, sandpaper that I have at the moment. And i rather not even like mess with it that much. Okay, so uh, I'm basically done sanding it. I don't want to get into uh, the details too much. Like I said, I kind of want to make it seem vintage, old school looking. Uh, I don't want to make it look brand new. So I'm j I'm probably just gonna leave it like that. I just took off most of the uh, the stuff that was like sticking out or like dirt. Um, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be spraying the orange glow, which is what I use to clean wooden tables or chairs. I know some people use oils for finishing wood, but I don't have that. This recommends for just cleaning, uh, just spray it once and then just wipe it off just like any other spray. Or if you want it to actually like retain the oils, I think you leave it for five minutes and see how it looks, see how it turns out. Like when you smell real wood, you get you tell right off the bat. Look at that. That's that's giving a nice look already. So I'll leave that there for uh, five minutes. Let that soak up. I still haven't uh, wiped it off, but it seems like the wood just kind of sucked all the uh, oils in which is good I was gonna sketch you about this finish because I mean I, I've never used this product before this is the first time we just got this we just got this one uh, about a week ago so I don't even really know how it works but it was the only uh, thing we had in the house so that's what I used and it seems to be working fairly well go straight it off and then the last step but just put it all together and see how it looks 
Okay, so here's the final product of the uh, handsaw for four dollars. Pretty old school. Here we go. Hopefully, you can see the company. It says Warranted Superior. I did do a little bit of research on that. From what I saw, they were they were pretty high quality handsaws. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the four dollars that I spent, and plus just the uh, the work that I put into it. You know, you kind of appreciate it more. Now I have a handsaw whenever I need to cut wood or cut something up. It's ready to be used, or maybe even as a relic. But it's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.